looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Let's go, everybody. Pull cool back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm be going over the upcoming week of Mutt content. Now, guys, with all the content that has been pushed back since Team of the Year and everything else, we're coming into a week where we could have an abundance of at least the next two weeks of extreme Madden content, guys. A lot of stuff to go over. Now, there's one specific content drop that will probably fall in their next week's video, which would be the awards, uh, the NFL honors, because that promo, again, typically comes like the last day of January, coming into the bottom of February. It depends how quickly they make the cards, because realistically, we will know the awards within the next week or so. But again, it depends how quickly they make the cards. But nonetheless, guys, I'm super excited to get into this video. We do have a lot to go over in terms of content. So as you guys do know, tomorrow is a reveal, which I will be going over in just a second. But before we do get into today's video, go down below, like the video, comment down below, let me know what's going on. And of course, as always, smash the like button. Now, guys, if you haven't already, head on over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Now, let's get into this. First things first, guys, tomorrow is the early reveal of Team of the Year. So Team of the Year does officially come Tuesday, but tomorrow we'll know just about every card that will be pertaining to Team of the Year. I believe if they do the stream how they usually do it. But I'm super excited. Going to be a super fun stream. A lot of stuff to see with the overalls, right? Like, are we going... Are we going 98 overall top players, 98 overall masters like Gurley and Wagner? And are we getting 99 overalls now? Or are we going 97s like last year with Donald and Rulson? Are we going 98s? Gonna be exciting to see. Uh, it seems like 97, 98 might be the, the more obvious answer, but you never know. Madden's been weird this year with overalls. I wouldn't put it past them. But I'm excited to get into this. I want to go over everything we can expect because at this point, guys, there's a decent amount of stuff. There's the NFL honors. There's some team of the year. There's the team of the year. There is the Super Bowl promo, which for sure should be by the end of this week, or at least hinted at, unless they're pushing that back too. Super Bowl promo typically would be dropping like tomorrow or the next day, so that's already behind as well. But let's head over to Mudhead. Let's check out all the uh, all the Super Bowl promo and Team of the Year info. Let's show you guys all that. And then remember, the Team of the Year stream is tomorrow. So stay tuned. I believe Cradle City will be doing a 10:30 Eastern Time stream, which I actually do prefer over the typical stream format. I don't really like the you know 8 of 8 p.m. special stream reveal 7 p.m. Not a fan of that format. Never really have been felt it though i got i like the morning stream better where everyone's up you know you're wide awake you get you get through the morning and if you don't have work even better you just gotta knock it out early if you do have work maybe you just got to work and you could knock it out on your phone if you have kids and you're staying home mom or dad you just watch you know what i mean like i feel like it's always been a better time 8 p.m is like dinner friends family gym even sleeping for work the next day so i've never really been a fan but guys head on over and show you guys the cards team of the year tomorrow the reveal is what i was referring to there are 97s and 96s and I believe as well 95s. Now, this was the overall range for Team of the Year last year. 95s are more like the specialists, like the kickers, the fullbacks, the punters, um, sub middle linebackers, and all that stuff. Sub package guys, uh, punt returners. Now, 96s were like the average players, like position players, free safety, strong safety, cornerback. And then the top ones are the right end of the quarterback, which is Donald and Russell. Pretty much not, it's not position based. It's going to be the best overall, like the best players in the Team of the Year that they deemed like, you know, who killed it that year are going to have the 297s. Now, if you do know, in this year, like last year, Madden 20, they did 97s that powered up to 98s. In Madden 19, they did Gurley and Wagner, who were 98 base, and they powered up to 99. So I'm not entirely sure which ones they're going to go with in that in terms of that. But either way, it's going to be the best card in the game, right? Either we get powered up to 98, which are the highest overall cards in the game, or we get powered up to 99, which is endgame cards, right? So I'm not sure the route they will be taking, but either way, these cards should be borderline endgame if the stats do um, allow it. But I'm excited, guys. Again, we're going to get a whole new roster, like a whole new modern-day team now. Some players that we don't have to be excited for. Wide receiver. Wide receiver and team of the year usually suck. Now, Stephon Diggs will be the exception. He actually may be pretty good. But like when we get Chris Godwins or Michael Thomases or Mike Evans, they're always just so slow. Like the Hop Hopkins. Wide receiver is just overall ruined for team of the year always. Tight end. Tight end could be good. If we get Kelsey, it's going to be bad because he won't be fast enough. If we get Waller, it has potential to be banger. Safety is going to be good. We'll probably get like Baker, Adams, Minka... Um, a few other guys I had not ringing the bell right now. Cornerback should be pretty good again. Sometimes you get guys like Casey Hayward who's slow, Shadavius White who's fast. Uh, sometimes you get guys like Chandler Jones who's a slower pass rusher. Sometimes you get Luke Keekley who's a slower middle linebacker. Like that's the only thing with modern day players. Some of the players are so fundamental and technical that Madden doesn't know how to show that up on their stack card here. But nonetheless, there's gonna be a lot of stuff for Team of the Year that I'm excited for. But let's head over to uh, some of the other stuff to show the Super Bowl stuff we could be expecting this week. Now for Team of the Year though, it's gonna be a big week. Again, quarterback typically could be banger, right? If it's Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson, 
or maybe Mahomes, but I don't think so because he's in the playoffs. They probably predict him for the Super Bowl. But in terms of uh, team of the year, Mahomes, sorry, Sean Watson or Russell Wilson is going to be a banger quarterback. There's no way around that. That's going to be a fire quarterback. I'm just not sure if they do which one they're going to give it to, right? But let's head out to team of the year. Let's go check out some of the Super Bowl stuff. Yeah, so for the Super Bowl present, remember, we do have two parts of this promo. There's going to be the Super Bowl present, past, and of course, there will be no future because that'd be predicting a Super Bowl in the future. That wouldn't even make sense. But let's start with the present. So as you guys do know, the Super Bowl present matchups will be known later today, right? We got the uh, Packers at the Bucks, and we have the Buffalo Bills at Kansas City. I don't if I might have said those ads wrong. I didn't even intend to do home advantage there. I just kind of said it. Point is, we will know the Super Bowl present players uh, in theory by tonight. But the promo itself may not come out until later this week. Super Bowl present is pretty much just players that consist of this current Super Bowl matchup, which is hard to do, right? Because, like, let's say they give Patrick Mahomes a high overall for making the Super Bowl, but then he wins Super Bowl MVP. Now he gets two cards. So they typically try to make the top guy, like Richard Sherman or Tyreek Hill, someone they don't think will get the MVP. Now, Tyreek could have gotten it, which would have just given him, again, another card. But if you prefer, they didn't do it that way. Point is, let's say it is, let's just for theory's sake, who I predict, probably, I don't know, maybe Packers versus Chiefs. So if it's Packers versus Chiefs, right? We'll probably end up seeing a high overall for the, sorry, yeah, Packers versus Chiefs. For the Packers, we'll probably end up seeing maybe, I don't think they'd give Aaron Rodgers a card because he has someone so soon. Maybe they give it a, an Aaron Jones, maybe a Devontae Adams, maybe a, uh, you know, Kenny Clark. For the Chiefs, they may give us, again, maybe not a Mahomes. Maybe they'll do another Tyree Kill. Maybe they'll do a Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, a Le'Veon Bell, you know, just to keep it with, you know, a player that they don't think will get an upgrade. But that's the point. And there will be 199, which will be the Super Bowl MVP. So Packers, Packers, Chiefs, more than likely we're going to get out. Aaron Rodgers or Mahomes with an outside chance at a Super Bowl hero, right? Like, and by Super Bowl hero, I mean the only time that it's really not the quarterback or something like that is if there's a Super Bowl hero like Malcolm Smith with the pick six and the fumble and the, uh, you know, the Seahawks Super Bowl or like someone crazy who just has such a great performance that it's single-handedly changed the game. Not It happens, but again, the quarterbacks typically, if they play hero ball in a high shootout, going to be the quarterbacks. But point is, Super Bowl uh, present... Going to be great. Going to be a great promo. Going to be fun. Going to be stuff. And then we have the Super Bowl Pass, which is also equally as exciting. Now, for Super Bowl Pass, what's interesting, it goes through past Super Bowls and gives us, like, all the heroes, right? So, David Tyree from the Giants uh, Super Bowl, where he got the helmet catch. Franco Harris, his crazy, uh, his crazy, crazy playoff run. Derek Brooks. Steve Young, who has, like, I think, playoff records. Mel Renfro. Gene Upshaw. Malcolm Smith. Now, guys like Steve Young would actually be really good for this meta. Almost all 95 passing accuracy. Decent throw power, good speed. Probably be even better with this year's ap adaptation of how we play with quarterbacks. Malcolm Smith, like I was referring to, Lane Johnson. There's some LTDs here. There's some um, hero sets. Then we got Clay Matthews, Adam, Adam Timmerman, Sonny Michelle, Malcolm Butler, Ben Roethlisberger, Brandon Graham. And, you know, it keeps going on all the way down to even some of the lower Super Bowl performances like Jermaine Kearse, who had that one really good uh, playoff run. Joe Flacco who had that good Super Bowl. Chris Hogan. Eli Manning, of course, actually had a better card potential this year. But point is, as you guys can see here, overall, pro, Super Bowl promo is going to be great. There's going to be things like the red team. The, you know, like we've done this in the past, like red team, blue team. So pretty much you pick one team and that's the side you play for and who's going to win. There might there will be coin ups, right? Coin ups for uh, Super Bowls are pretty simple. It'll be like, okay, so use this collectible to earn a coin up collectible, which is like who will score the first touchdown in the Super Bowl. If you pick Travis Kelsey and he hits it, you get this amount of coins. If you pick the field, anyone else other than Kelsey gets it, you get this amount of coins. Who will be the MVP? It'll be like Patrick Mahomes. You use your collectible. If this hits, you get 10K. Why so little? Because Patrick Mahomes would be the favorite to win it. Then it'll be like if Travis Kelsey wins MVP, he gets 75K. Why? Because the tight ends rarely will win it. If it, it'll be a defender, right? Or it'll, it'll be a guy on the other team, like the Packers. Packers Super Bowl MVP Aaron Jones. So you're ready. Let's say the Packers aren't the favorites. So now you're assuming an underdog will win it and then an underdog candidate. It's like a, like a, if you guys play gamble or do parlays and stuff, it'll be like getting like a double lower odd thing in a parlay, which is just increasing the uh, outlook. If there's a fumble in the game, if there's a safety, and so on and so forth, it just keeps going on and on. So it's definitely exciting. Definitely a fun time period. There'll be solos. There'll be free players. Super Bowl 99 overall MVP. The first 99 overall player, more than likely. And good packs and plenty of other stuff, guys. Overall, I'm super excited for the Super Bowl promo. It's going to be great. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the Sunday video. Enjoy your playoff football. Comment down below right now who you think are winning the matchups today. It's going to be the Chiefs. Between Chiefs and Bills and Packers and Bucks. Let me know who you think is winning. And give me a little Super Bowl MVP prediction right now. Like Out of who you think is going to win, who's going to also get the Super Bowl on top of that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment down below. Like the video if you guys are new. Liking helps a lot. And of course, you need coins. Head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle for 30% off. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.